Today we wanted to talk about saving can be 100K or more and brings you to the financial freedom for home ownership journey. Right, so here's the part where people say, oh, the interest rates, the interest rates, the interest rates, but the truth is you can do is take practical steps in order to reduce how much you're actually paying in interest every single month um, when you have a mortgage-backed thing. And then a lot of times people will say, well, maybe I can just buy now and refinance, but the truth is, or if you are making significant amount of money, you can just pay down the met debt, then it doesn't really matter because you're paying it off and you're paying it off sooner. And typically Typically with mortgages, you can pay it off sooner. It is not something where you are stuck. You must pay for 30 years on this home loan. Um, in fact, you are not stuck on that. So what we can talk about is how extra payments will, say to, will lead to a lot of savings. And want to start us? Go, want to go with the Yeah, uh, one of the mind-blowing things that you might not think about actually with the little small amount of money that you can pay toward your principal every month extra over what you are paying mo for monthly mortgage can tremendously bring you significant saving in the future and financial freedom. Right, so the numbers we want to talk about, just a couple quick numbers, and my math might not be perfect, but if you say if you pay an extra fifty dollars a month on your mortgage and you can pay off just fifty dollars, which it seems like a lot, but it's really not when you're paying seventeen. If you pay seventeen fifty or something like that, you are shortening your terms. How much did I did my math come to? Basically, you're saving on the $200,000 mortgage if you're paying that $50 that my wife was talking, you shorten your mortgage of 30 years to 27 years and also on top of that, you actually save $24,000. Right, so you can see a small number can make a big change. Another very common Before that, we're gonna do our introduction. Absolutely, let's hit it. Hi, it's Alvatore. welcome to our channel and podcast. And if this is your first time in our podcast and YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and get notified. Also, you can call text all the time, 252-327-3357. We love talking to you, don't be shy. Also grab our buyer's guide and seller's guide in the description below. Now, as I was saying, another very, very common strategy many, many homeowners will do is the next one. What is that? Next one is annual uh, using actually your tax return, no? Mm -hmm. Consider, for example, that you uh, you file your taxes after April 15, before. and then before, <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, for example, you're getting thirteen hundred dollars from the government, mm -hmm. and then if you use that thirteen hundred dollars for your more for paying toward your principal, and how I much you gonna same, save? I use the same calculation of a $200,000 house just to keep it simple, simple math. You would be saving about $47,000 over the life of the term mortgage and six years of your mortgage. So these are just small ways whenever you have extra money to pay extra towards your mortgage because that's really what we're trying to do ourselves. Well, you wanna start us off on our own personal journey? Yes, about our personal jo journey also that when we got our first house, and uh, we basically, it, we had $300,000 Our mortgage. first house or this house? Uh, our, our house. Okay. Doesn't matter first or second, we're just talking about our personal journey that we had 300,000 mortgage payment. How much? Five. We, 305. How 305. much? 305. So at the current filming of this video, we owe 271. And it's not because we went crazy or did anything. It's been a couple years now since we've been paying the mortgage. But more than that, by paying extra whenever we can, we have reduced principal by 12% from what it should be. And we have shortened our mortgage term by two years just by throwing money at the mortgage. And our mortgage interest is good. So, but either way, that doesn't matter. What matters is we're paying down the principal because they can't charge interest if you just pay down the principal. The, the whole point is when you get to the age of the retirement, you get to the financial freedom and uh, not have any debt. That's what we are talking right. here. Right, now I understand, uh, just really quickly, I know I talk about my student loans a lot on this channel, but it was really a struggle for a long time with that $300,000. If I could pay off that by paying it every single month and and really fighting Naviant or Sally Mae and all of that. Now I understand my next goal is really my mortgage because now it's something that is my financial freedom to where I will not have, and my kids will have something that they can sell and make money with later. And it's a place for me to live long after I, I can't physically work anymore. Okay. Therefore, this is really uh, was a podcast and video about taking control of your mortgage mm -hmm. and also your security for financial freedom in the future. And don't forget to call Alan Victoria, real estate agent in Greenville, North Carolina at 
327-3357. We are here to help you. And also... I just want to quickly add, persistence is always a great thing to have, especially when you're dealing with a mortgage. And by taking control of your finances and taking control and being persistent in, in this area of our lives, we are giving ourselves financial freedom and we're making smart choices. So it's, I can't wait to live a mortgage-free life. And thank you.